Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is Psalms and Proverbs in 31 days, and we're on day 26. Today we shall be reading Psalm 26, Psalm 56, 86, 116, 146, and Proverbs 26. So let's jump right in with today's reading in Psalm 26, verse 1. A Psalm of David, Judge me, O Yahweh, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in Yahweh, therefore I shall not slide. Examine me, O Yahweh, and prove me. Try my reins in my heart, for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go in with dissemblers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers, and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash mine hands in innocency, so will I compass thine altar, O Yahweh. That I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving, and tell of all thy wondrous works. Yahweh, I have loved the habitation of thy house, and the place where thine honor dwelleth. Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men, and whose hands is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in mine integrity. Redeem me, and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth in an even place, and the congregations will I bless Yahweh. Psalm 56, verse 1. To the chief musician upon... Jonathan Mechokim. Whew, that was a tough one. Micham of David, when the Philistines took him in Gath. Be merciful unto me, O Elohim, for man would swallow me up, he fighting daily oppresseth me. My enemies would daily swallow me up, for they be many that fight against me, O thou most high. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In Elohim I will praise his word, in Elohim I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Every day they rest my words, all their thoughts are against me for evil. They gather themselves together, they hide themselves, they mark my steps when they wait for my soul. Shall they escape by iniquity? In thine anger cast down the people, O Elohim. That tellest my wanderings, put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? When I cry unto thee, then shall mine enemies turn back. This I know, for Elohim is for me. In Elohim will I praise his word, in Yahweh will I praise his word. In Elohim have I put my trust, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Thy vows are upon me, O Elohim, I will render praises unto thee, for thou hast delivered my soul from death. Wilt not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before Elohim in the light of the living? Psalm 86, verse 1. The Prayer of David. Bow down thine ear, O Yahweh. Hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy, O thou my Elohim. Save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive, and plenteous in mercy unto all that call upon thee. That's a great verse right there. That is a great, great, great verse. We've seen several, t not several times, many, many, many times how God is just full of mercy, loving kindness, but so much mercy. For thou, Lord, art good, amen, and ready to forgive, yep, and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. That's a great verse, Psalm 85, 86, 5. Great, great verse. Psalm 86.6 Give ear, 
O Yahweh, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods there is none like you unto thee, O Lord, neither are there are any works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, and doest wondrous things. Thou art Elohim alone. Teach me thy way, O Yahweh. I will walk in thy truth. Unite my heart to fear thy name. What a great verse that is too. Teach me thy way, O Lord, O Yahweh. Amen to that. I will praise thee, O Lord, my Elohim, with all my heart, and I will glorify thy name forevermore. For great, here we go again, great is thy mercy toward me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O Elohim, the proud arisen against me, and the assemblies of violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion, and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. More mercy. More verses about his mercy. O turn unto me, and have mercy upon me. Give thy strength unto thy servant, and save the son of thine handmaid. Show me a token for good, that they which hate me may see it and be ashamed, because thou, Yahweh, hast hope in me and comforted me. That was a great chapter, Psalm 86. Psalm 116, verse 1. I love the Lord, or Yahweh. Yes, I do. Because he hath heard my voice and my supplications. Yep. That's true too. That is so true. Because he hath inclined his ear unto me. Therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. Yes, I will. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the pains of hell gat hold upon me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then called I upon the name of Yahweh. O Yahweh, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Gracious is Yahweh, and righteous. Yea, our Elohim is merciful. Amen to that. Yahweh preserveth the simple. I was brought low, and he helped me. Return unto thy rest, O my soul. For Yahweh hath dealt bountifully with thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before Yahweh in the land of the living. I believe, therefore, have I spoken, I was greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, all men are liars. What shall I render unto Yahweh for all his benefits toward me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of Yahweh. And I will pay my vows unto Yahweh now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of Yahweh is the death of his saints. O Yahweh, truly I am thy servant. I am thy servant, and the son of thine handmaid. Thou hast loosed my bonds. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of Yahweh. I will pay my vows unto Yahweh now, in the presence of all his people, in the courts of Yahweh's house, in the midst of thee, O Jerusalem. Praise ye, Yahweh. Amen to that. Psalm 146, verse 1. Praise ye Yahweh. Wow, that's interesting how Psalm 116 ends with this. Isn't that interesting? Psalm 116 ends with this. But then we go to the, our next chapter, which is Psalm 146. And look at this. The first verse. Praise ye Yahweh. Praise Yahweh, O my soul. How interesting how that lines up even though they're very far apart if you're reading it in order. While I live, will I praise Yahweh. I will sing praises unto my Elohim while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day his thoughts perish. Happy is he that hath 
the Elohim of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in Yahweh, his Elohim. Yep, all our hope should be in our Lord, our Yahweh, our God, our Elohim. Every day, when we wake up, we should be given thanks that God woke us up, that we're breathing fresh air, that we are alive. Anytime we hope in the Lord, we can depend on Him to answer our prayers. Amen. Which made heaven and earth and sea and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. Yahweh looseth the prisoners. Yahweh openeth the eyes of the blind. Yahweh raiseth them that are bowed down. Yahweh loved the righteous. Yahweh preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked he turned upside down. Yahweh shall reign forever, even thy Elohim. O Sion, unto all generations, and praise ye Yahweh. How interesting that it also ends with that again. Praise. Praise the Lord. You know how we should be praising the Lord? And I'll admit, sometimes it's easier said than done to give thanks and to give praise. But we should. Every day. We should be praising Him. Like I said, it's easier said than done, but we have to be we have to pray that we can be spiritually more spiritually aware of his presence, of his promises, and giving thanks and praise to him. We have to do Proverbs twenty six verse one As snow in summer and as rain in harvest, so honor is not seemly for a fool. As the bird by wandering, as the swallow by flying, so the curse causeless shall not come. A whip for the horse, a bridle for the ass, and a rod for the fool's back. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own conceit. He that sendeth a message by the hand of a fool cutteth off the feet and drinketh damage. The legs of the lame are not equal, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. As he that bindeth a stone in a sling, so is he that giveth honor to a fool. As a thorn goeth up into the hand of a drunkard, so is a parable in the mouth of fools. The great Elohim that formed all things both rewardeth the fool and rewardeth transgressors. As a dog returneth to his vomit, so a fool returneth to his folly. Seest thou a man wise in his own conceit? There is more hope of a fool than of him. The sawful man saith, There is a lion in the way, a lion is in the streets. As the door turneth upon his hinges, so doth the sawful upon his head. The sawful hideth his hand in his bosom, it grieveth him to bring it again to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own conceit than seven men that can render a reason. He that passeth by and meddleth with strife belongeth not to him, is like one that taketh a dog by the ears. As a madman who casteth firebrands, arrows, and death, so is a man that deceiveth his neighbor, and saith, Am I not, am not I in sport? Where no wood is, there the fire goeth out. So where there is no tail bearer, the strife ceaseth. As coals are burning coals, and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. The words of a talebearer are as wounds, and they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. Burning lips and a wicked heart are like a pot shard covered with silver dross. He that hateth disassembleth with his lips, and layeth up deceit within him. When he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Whose hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. Whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. Okay, that's going to be it for today. 
some great verses, some great chapters today. I think it's, I just think it's so interesting that Psalm 116 and 100, 146, they seem like they go next to each other naturally. Praise ye the Lord, and then Psalm 146, it starts and ends with praise ye the Lord. Wow, it's pretty cool. That's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope you all have a great evening, morning, noon, wherever you're at. And as always, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Take care. God bless. Remember to put God first in everything you do. Have faith in him. Have trust in him. And keep waiting upon him. And you'll never be sorry. We'll see you tomorrow, God willingly, with more Psalms and Proverb. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.